You called me a bigot. You couldn't explain why. Now you're an ally of who? I'm an ally of LGBTQ people. What does that mean? You think they should? It's good for people to die early to have their lives cut short. It's not good to argue with you because you're not because you can't defend it. That's my point. No, it's indefensible. No, I answered you, ma'am. Yes, I did. And you, and you, sir, you're promoting lifestyles that hurt. How is that an ally? Notice this. Notice this. You don't want to talk about this. Want us to talk about it. Not true. I did hear you. You told me that your daughter, who's trying to be a son, and you're supporting that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. So, of course you can. I hope you do. Don't worry. I am going to post it. You should. Good. Absolutely. And make sure that you post the shirt because this is the organization that's making the difference. Yes, it is. So, you think that it's hate to protect children? Is that what you're saying? No. That is exactly what you're saying. You think that it's hatred to protect children? I'm like astonished. You think that it's hatred that you don't want people to have their lifespan cut short? I want people to live long and healthy lives. Tell me how my son's life is. Easily, because the hormonal imbalances that are being imputed into that child, cutting their body parts, is wrong. Is the mental health issues that come hormones. out of this transgender agenda Sir, hurts Dr. individuals. Sir, do you know my son? I know that you're telling me that it's a girl who transitions into a boy. That's what you told me. But you don't know if he's had surgery. You don't know if he's on hormones. I know a lot have. So what has happened but with you're your... you're not talking about my child. You're okay. about everybody else. So what do you want to tell us about your child it's then? It's none of your business about my child. Yes, it is, because you're here no, promoting not. his transgender no, identity. I'm not. I'm here promoting... Yes, you are. No, I'm not yes, you are. Proud mom. It says that on your shirt. You are absolutely promoting this agenda and putting your daughter in harm's way pushing this. No. It is time for us to stop accommodating this delusion. So you think it's okay for sex offenders to be around children? Back to square one. Yes, we do. Of those three. Yes, we posted them. Go to the website, www.massresistance.org. We have the criminal records on those three sex offenders. Now, about the sex offenders. Now, about the drag queens here, we don't have a record. We don't know who they are. We don't know. The library won't tell us who those drag queens are. So what are they afraid of? No, we don't know. What I said is just true right now. No, not true. I said it at the podium. I said at the podium that the library refuses, refuses to identify those drag queens. I said it twice. Yes, they do. Drag entertainment is adult illicit entertainment. Have you lost your mind? You think sex offenders should be around children? Sexually explicit entertainers should be around children. Have you lost your mind? They also use female degrading names. Yes, they degrade women. If you're feminist, you should be the first ones to shut this down. Drag entertainers degrade women. Do you accept pedophiles being around children? Did you see this? You think it's okay to do that? What are you talking about? What does it matter? I have absolutely protested that too. But the fact is, you're here defending that around the children here. Have you lost your mind? Yes, that's exactly wrong. Are you kidding? Why? Why do you think that's okay? Why is it okay for a man to dress as a woman and be around children? You won't answer me. Look at that. Oh, you feel attacked? I'm giving you space. Unreal. Ma'am, thank you. That was so powerful. We really need that. So you said you were a man. Are you now a woman again? Would you like to explain that to me? And you think that kind of confusion is acceptable around children? Uh-huh. If you do you need a napkin? Because you said you were scratching your nose. Okay, are you going to answer me or not? I think that's all I got. So you think it's okay to then, you think you could switch your gender like that? Oh, I'm a man today. I'm a woman today. That's a lie. And that's not what kids should be taught. What makes you a man? The genetics. Absolutely. X and Y. There are 9,000 chromosomal distinctions. Yes. The same thing is true for women. How is that relevant to drag queens reading books to children? Because they're pushing this lie about gender fluidity. They're pushing this queer role model nonsense, oh, which is based on... Books. Yes, it is. It's on their website. What I read to you is on their website. Have you heard of any sex people? 
Yes, that's a very small population. And furthermore, it's male or female. And those individuals, they have secondary characteristics, but their primary characteristics are clearly male or female. Yes. Okay. Have you ever had homosexual tendencies? Does it matter? Thoughts? Why? What about you? For sure, of course. Okay. And your point is? Is that something you advertise to the public? So why? Yeah, I'm not I do. ashamed. Why? I'm not ashamed. Do you why? Want but why? Is that something you want to be free of, or what? Didn't you say um, half of the population of the LGBTQ community is killed because of suicide? So I said 41% for transgenders, and the lifespan is cut by 20% for homosexuals. Right, and why is the suicide prevalent? Because of people like you. No, it's because these behaviors are destructive, and they're based on why emotional hurt. I'll tell you why. Because a number of homosexuals were molested as children. A number of them were hurt. They didn't have fathers at home. If you don't believe me, I can show you some of their testimonies. Could you type in true love is I'm into YouTube? I think I know a lot more homosexual people than you. Well, maybe you do, but you don't know but their testimonies. No, that's, here, my, that's what he said. <laughs> you know what? No, they used to be, though, ma'am. Ma'am, they used to be. Sorry. I'm sorry you have homosexual tendencies. Okay, but so you, so you're recognizing homosexuality as a bad thing. You just said that. Thank you. You got it. So you just acknowledge that. Hold on, show true love is. Wait a minute, you don't want to hear from their testimonies, do you? You don't want to talk about them. True love is. No, I don't. If you must know. I'm queer. You got okay. a problem with that? Thought about it. Jesus made me So queer. now you're like, but you're treating homosexuality as a slur. So you recognize it's destructive. Yes, you are. You're using it as a slur to shame people. You just did that. So why are you promoting the behavior if you're using it as a slur against people? Did you see that? So they mock me as, oh, you must be gay. So it's a slur. It's a bad thing. You recognize it. Thank you. True love is. Did you find it? True love is. Dot is. True love dot is. And you should know this too because this will fortify the public on how to deal with this. These are former homosexuals who got out of the lifestyle in their churches. Yeah. Oh, here. 